<laughs> All right, can I retire at 62 with $150,000 saved for retirement as a single individual? Now, you have some unique circumstances when you're married and then when you're single in retirement. But there are some challenges that you have as a single individual that married individuals and families don't have, especially in retirement. The first challenge is that your retirement savings is on me, myself, and I, meaning you are the sole saver the sole contributor, the sole investor in your retirement savings. The second challenge that you have as a single individual in retirement is that you only get one social security, one pension, one set of investment accounts to pull out retirement income. So what we want to do today is address a few of those challenges and see if I can retire at 62 with $150,000 saved for retirement. So here's our assumptions. We're age 62. Our Social Security is $1,800 a month. That's the average Social Security. We're looking at retirement savings of $150,000 a year, and our expenses are $40,000 a year. Now, here's how I got that. The U.S. Census Bureau says that the average person in their 60s has $50,000 in expenses. I'm assuming that that's a married couple. From my experience, single individuals don't have $50,000 in expenses in retirement unless they live in higher cost states. Think California, New York, Massachusetts, things like that. So I backed off by about $10,000. So I went to $40,000 in expenses. Now this could be lower, this could be higher. I just wanna show you a simple explanation. So 62, we're gonna take a couple assumptions. We're gonna earn 6% a year in the market and we're gonna have 3% inflation. Okay, so our rate of return is going to be 6%. Our inflation is going to be 3%. Now, our expenses are going to start at $3,333 per month. And our Social Security is going to be $1,800 a month. So that means out of our retirement investments, we need $1,614 per month. So this is what our expenses are that we need to live. Social Security, that's a guaranteed income, right? Backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government. Whatever that means to you, okay? Which means we need to pull out of our retirement investments $1,614. This is gross. We're looking at this as a gross figure. This is all pre-tax. So at 72, we have zero dollars. We're out of money. So it doesn't work. $40,000 in expenses, $150,000 in retirement savings, average Social Security, it doesn't work. Obviously, if Social Security is higher or if you have more retirement savings, it might work. But in this case, it doesn't work. And I'm actually using a rate of return that is a lot higher than what I see normally for individuals in their 60s. A lot of times when I do investment analysis for clients, when I'm looking at their investment portfolio, they're asking me, hey, would you help me with manage my retirement assets? Um, a lot of times their rate of return comes in about four and a half, five percent And so I'm looking at this as a little bit higher. Now it's 2% behind what the market has averaged for the last 50 years. It's just not a good scenario. It doesn't work. So what can we control? And what can we not control? I can't control the market. I can't control inflation. But what we can control is how much we need in retirement expenses, right? How much we need in retirement income. And we can control maybe working a little bit longer. Now, I don't want to do the working a little bit longer scenario. I just want to look at the expense scenario. So let's go over here. $150,000. We're going to use the same rates of return, 6%, 3%. Let's draw a line here so we don't get confused. Now we're going to drop our expenses to $2,500 a month. So we were at $3,333. Now we're dropping it down to $2,500 a month. Now keep in mind, you really got to go through your budget with a fine tooth comb. What I like to do for my clients when we're working through a your financial EKG for someone, I actually send them an advanced expense plan. And if you've gone through an advanced expense plan with me, leave in the comments how beneficial that was to you. I had a client just email me today and say, hey Drew, that was so eye-opening actually going through our expenses. Now I'm I'm not trying to tell you you need to have a budget. I'm not trying to tell you to be, you know, a Dave Ramsey person. I like Dave Ramsey. What I'm trying to say is we just need to get our spending down on paper so that we can know 
what we need from our retirement investments in order to retire. We don't want to just walk blindly into retirement um, hoping rainbows, unicorns, and pixie dust is going to get us through. We need to have a plan. You've never driven somewhere on vacation. You can't go from Tampa, Florida to Panama City Beach, Florida, which is about six hours away. You can't go there without a map. Like you could say, oh, I'm going to drive north and then I'm going to turn left and, and I'm going to go towards Louisiana and I'll get to Panama City. Maybe, but I would rather have a map. I'd rather say, okay, hey, we're going to take US-19. That's going to go along the coast or I'm going to go up 75, hit I-10 and go over. We want to have a map. We want to know where we're going. So Social Security, $1,800 a month. Okay, this is our expenses monthly which means we need $761 off of our investments, which at 72 puts it at $122,215. So we've gone from 150 to 122 by lowering expenses. Okay? I think you can see where this is going. 122. Let's go to 82. Same rates of return. Same inflation assumption. Our expenses have now gone to $3,533 because of inflation. Social Security is $2,322, right? That's the COLA increase there. Okay, that's 2.5% on Social Security, which means we need $1,211 off our investments, which we're out at zero. Just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Unfortunately, it does not work. So what can we do? A couple things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna rip off the band-aid first. We work longer. We work longer, so we increase our retirement savings. We continue getting the contribution. We continue ma getting the match from our company. We work a little bit longer. It doesn't have to be full time. Maybe you work part time. Again, we just talked about this with the married scenario. If seven hundred and sixty-one dollars a month is what you need in retirement income and you are dead set on quitting that job because you are stressed out beyond belief, we got to earn $761 from somewhere to make this last. What do you love to do? What do you enjoy? Go do that, right? Maybe you go work at a golf course because you love to golf. You get paid to work at a golf course and you get free golf. It's a pretty good deal. I got a lot of clients that do that. I love baseball. I go to the Tampa Bay Rays games all the time. I talk to the ushers because they're all like in their 60s and 70s. I say, listen, I want to be you one day. I want to retire. I want to come to the trop Tropicana Field, whatever they call it at that time, and I want to watch free baseball and help people find their seats and watch kids enjoy baseball and sing the seventh inning stretch every year. That's what I want to do. That would be a dream for me. That's awesome. So maybe we work longer. Another thing we do if we work longer, we delay Social Security. And by delaying Social Security, we're increasing our guaranteed income because that's what we need. It's a pension. You're single, me, myself, and I. So if we can increase our Social Security, we can increase our guaranteed income and we can increase the longevity of our assets. Keep in mind, these two scenarios are at zero, but Social Security still pays. Social Security still pays. So if Social Security is going to continue to pay even when we're out, Maybe we should try to delay it as long as possible, okay? Those are the things we need to do. Now you have to decide what you want to do, all right? Now listen, if you want an EKG, you want to talk to me, go to the description below. would be honored to help you. When you set an appointment with our firm, you talk to me. You don't talk to somebody else. You get me, and we're going to go through your retirement. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.